The trial put her mother and other family members through the torture of seeing video that showed her death and then gory details about what the bullets did to her vital organs. Tonight, there is justice in the name of 11-year-old Brexielli Torres Ortiz of Syracuse. After the jury delivered its guilty verdict, Brexie's mother, Brenly Ortiz, was locked in an emotional embrace with family members just outside the courtroom. This was the end of a long road that saw two other men plead guilty in the drive-by shooting that happened in January of last year. It was Martin Luther King Jr. Day 2023 when the standout young student went to a corner store to get a gallon of milk to help her family make dinner. She was struck by gunfire that wasn't intended for her. It was meant for a man nearby that they wanted to kill. Prosecutors will ask for consecutive sentences which could add up to 50 years to life. There's still a lot of work to be done that we still struggle every day with these kinds of cases. You all know that we get shots fired every single day. CBS 5's Samantha Croston is with the Live Eye in downtown Syracuse tonight, Sam. And Michael, today the jury delivered justice for the family of Brexy, but as you'll hear from community members, there is a long road of healing ahead for everyone who was involved in this tragedy. The vigil, the street sign, the church across the street, all reminders of the tragedy that struck this community when 11-year-old Brexy Alley Torres Ortiz was shot and killed in January of last year. Think about the people that park here every day. You know, every time they drive by here, it has to be a reminder um, of, 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 of what took place. But that's the negative look. But then also it's a reminder of what such a beautiful life. Pastor Ricardo Draper Jr. is a pastor at the church across the street from the site of the shooting. He says there's a lot of emotions today, feeling both happy for Brexy's family, but sad for the family of Davier Griswold. Um, you look at his life, I think he's 20, 21 years old, right? He hasn't even begun to live yet. And you think about uh, where did we as a community fail him? Your heart just hurts for that family um, because uh, Brexy's gone. But now he's gone. Brexy's mother, Brenly, was too emotional to speak when she exited court. She did find comfort in her close friends and family. Tonight, neighbors in the area sending their love to Brexy's family, knowing a long road of healing lies ahead. We love you. We're still praying for you. We're still here for you. Uh, we know today had to be tough, you know, and as much as it may be exonerating and exhilarating for a moment, um, she still has to live with the fact that her baby's not coming home anymore. We all love you and uh, you just gotta stay strong and, and hope that uh, they can stop this. Stop this, it's just, it's just sad, young kids. It's just real sad and you know, I'm here too, you know, you know that could have been my son. And I think the sad part of it is, is it often takes tragedy to make us rally, you know. How much tragedy could be prevented if we if we rallied on the front end and and not on the back end? Griswold now faces a potential of 50 years to life when he's sentenced on July 2nd. Until then, he'll be held with no bail. Live in Syracuse tonight, I'm Samantha Croston. Samantha, thank you.